Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and it is snowing here in Colorado right now. It's going to snow all the way through tonight before it comes to an end. In fact, opening day up there at the Loveland on top of the Continental Divide, and that's the view from the Ptarmigan Lift. Snow will continue all the way through tonight, thinking 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 inches of snow up there on top of the Continental Divide over to Winter Park, Eldora, over to Abe Basin. So nice little storm here to kind of change the pattern across the west. But there are two others. We're looking at a three-storm combo all the way through November 10th. Let me show you what the set is, setup is right now. This is infrared. There's the big low that changed everything. There's another big low back here riding the jet, and a third low right here. Let me just draw in the jet flow here, the storm track. So it looks a lot like this, big trough, and it's doing this number. It's following the jet. So... Let me just mark all of this so you've got it. So this is storm number one. This is storm number two and storm three. So the track, the first one cuts the pattern, cuts the high out and develops a big rut in the atmosphere or dip in the jet, if you will. Um, it takes the southern route. The second low will drop in. This one's very interesting because when it hits the Pacific Northwest, it's going to deliver a moderate atmospheric river moderate to strong atmospheric brief but it will run orthogonal it's going to be a really nice setup for the pacific northwest briefly with an atmospheric river so heavy rain and snow and then it dives into california and it might bring that same level of precip intensity to the sierra with proper orographics this time that will be fascinating because if it does it develops that sense of that that rut in the atmosphere and storm three may follow the exact same path. I really like what I'm seeing out of Storm 2 and 3. So I wrote about it this morning on my blog, Snow Forecast Next 8, next day, eight Days. Talked about all three storms, impacts, and what I'm thinking as far as atmospheric river contributions. Um, also talked about my last day on Daybreak if you want to read more about that. But I'm going to continue, obviously, these YouTube updates and my blog and all my mountain weather forecasting. Just moving on to a different uh, role at the station. Really looking forward to that. Um, here, talked about the current setup. Looked at Wolf Creek getting smashed all day with heavy snow over a foot down there. Uh, this morning we had clear skies at Alta after about a foot of snow. You've got more snow on the way out of Storm 2 and 3, and it could be big. Uh, Park City. This is from Burton J. Kloster III. Thank you for that out of Park City. Um, and then I looked at the November third through tenth pattern. I've got the jet flows um, high res in here. So this is the fifth and a few very important things to note here. West to east, powerful jet streak nailing the Pacific Northwest in BC. I believe moderate to strong atmospheric river, copious amounts of moisture in a very short amount of time. But notice what else it does. It extends the jet flow extends into the interior, which means all that moisture will get blown into the interior Rockies, overrunning. That could mean big totals. We've also got, let's see, that's the Saturday. Here's the Sunday view. So the trough is beginning to dig south and west of California. That's critical because Storm 1, when it went south, or graphics were all wrong. Still had snow, but not as big as this is going to be because this is going to drop down and it's going to run orthogonal. Here is, here is the third phase. This is Monday the 7th. Big trough developing, jets running um, in, in a fashion that will deliver very nice orographics and potentially a weak, a weak atmospheric river setup for the Sierra, 11.6, 11.7. That's Storm 2, but there's a reinforcing piece on Storm 3 that may do the same as well, 11.8, 11.9, 11.10. And notice the flow. All this moisture is going to get blown in to the interior, and we could be talking big totals in northern Utah, Wyoming, parts of Idaho, western Montana. That is a possibility. And I wrote all about that on my, uh, my blog this morning. Let me go back to that. A couple of the things I want to point out, including the timing, forecast timing. Let me run this out for you. you this is our forecast radar satellite. So here it is, uh, Friday at 6 a.m., first storm moves out of Colorado, second storm begins to dive in. Look at the snow hitting the Sierra, snow into the interior, reinforcing shot out of storm two. Could, look at that big snow right there, two, 
Tuesday at 6 and Tuesday at night, Tuesday at 9 p.m., um, big snow. Um, and this would be the contribution come from, coming from Storm 3 as well on the 8th. So the the combo of Storm 2 and 3 are, is going to be big, as it looks right now for the Sierra, and also potentially the interior. Let me run this through for you one more time. Friday at 6, um, Saturday at 6 a.m., here's Sunday at about 6 a.m., Monday at 6 a.m., um, here is Tuesday at 6 a.m. and Tuesday night. Um, I really like what I see out of Storm 2 and 3. Um, so let's talk. Let's talk um, snow totals here. Here's what I'm thinking. So basically all of today through the 5th, you can see the numbers in Colorado out of Storm 1, 6 to 12 inches in a lot of places. Big time snow in the southern mountains as well of Colorado. Uh, three to six through Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire, and Taos. I really wish those numbers could have been bigger, but it just wasn't going to happen I, out of this one. Um, and good stuff coming in uh, the Pacific Northwest, obviously, with Storm 2. You're looking at some of the big numbers through Banff, BC. Look at Grand Targhee and Jackson Hole. And a probably five to six inch snow through Utah. But again, that's just the start. All right, here is phase two. And I actually just updated these numbers, so they're going to look different than what's on my blog from this morning. So this is just a new update. 11.6 to 11.11. So I updated this because I think the combination of Storm 2 and 3 could be significant for a lot of areas. First, I want to talk California. Anywhere from 30 to 60 inches of snow is entirely possible if we get the we get the ore graphics that I see and those weak atmospheric river type um, flow patterns throughout that period. Entirely possible. And what that does is on the interior is it's gonna give us it's gonna give us a powerful jet setup with proper winds through the Wasatch. We could be looking at a couple feet during this time frame in the Wasatch. Even Brian Head may get clipped on this pattern because what we're doing is we're taking some of this rich moisture out of California moving it up the jet and slamming it into the into the Wasatch and potentially southern Utah as well. Starting to see some of that overrunning in Colorado, but just standard numbers there. And it could be very big for the Tetons and Big Sky and Bridger Bowl as well if this pattern sets up. So there you go. Even included my brand and my, my newest numbers. Um, thank you for tuning in here. I'll keep things updated through the weekend. Take care.